Hello and thank you for taking the time to view this presentation of ASA's CAD detailing application. As I step through the process of detailing a simple structure, I'll attempt to demonstrate just a few of the advantages of the system. From drawing creation, to rebar detailing, to final drawing assembly, to extracting material orders for fabrication and delivery. Typically, when starting a new project, most detailers like to review the project specifications in order to become familiar with the defaults and requirements that must be adhered to. They will also create a project folder to keep track of all pertinent information. The ASA Project Manager, shown here, is just one example of how the ASA CAD detailing system was designed to follow the same type of workflow that a detailer is used to. Just like when manually detailing, project folders are created for each job and all pertinent information, defaults for the project, and all drawings will be stored and easily accessed. When a network environment exists, this information can be accessed and shared by others working on the same project. Also, because of this logical method for storing information, various reports are readily available such as weights detailed and taken off for a specific drawing or even totals for an entire project, detailer, or department. As shown here, these job folders are displayed in the upper left of the project manager with the active job highlighted in blue. Just to the right of the job table will be a listing of all drawings associated with the active job. Additional information about the active job and drawing appear just below these tables as well as a thumbnail display of the active drawing and current detail and taken off weights. When ready to begin work on a drawing, the open button is clicked on and the drawing will be opened. The process of creating a CAD generated placing drawing often occurs one of two ways. Either the detailer starts with an electronic file from an outside source, such as the engineer or general contractor, or they will create the drawing from scratch based on a set of contract drawings. When electronic files are available, the detailer can open the files in his newly created drawing and then do some general cleanup to make them suitable as placing drawings. If electronic files are not available, the detailer will utilize the CAD system's drafting tools to create the structure on the drawing. In either scenario, the goal is to have a representation of the area to be detailed drawn with actual dimensions in order to expedite the detailing process with the powerful tools provided in the ASA CAD detailing system. Once the general layout drawing or footprint exists, the detailer will start the detailing process using one of a multitude of powerful tools provided in the ASA CAD detailing system. Up till now, most of what you have seen occurred using the CAD program's out-of-the-box tools. If we look at the toolbar across the top of the screen, notice the ASA toolbox is in the middle. Generally speaking, the options to the left are basic CAD tools and the options from here to the right are mostly tools that ASA has added to assist the detailer to quickly and accurately generate a top quality placing drawing. Obviously, in this short presentation, it will be impossible to show you all of the system's capabilities, many of which you probably recognize such as beams, columns, and slabs. What I would like to do is walk through the use of one such tool called Linear Area to hopefully give you an idea of the system's capabilities. ASA's Linear Area tool is a good example of how you will be able to use the system's tools to more quickly detail nearly any structure imaginable. While other programs may, on the surface, appear to have similar functionality, only ASA has built in the options needed to accommodate practically all of the design variables that differing structure types may require. As we look at the linear area settings box, you will begin to get a feel for the depth of the system's capabilities. 
In addition to the obviously necessary settings such as bar spacing and clearances, the detailer is also given options for changing stock and mill lengths, hook types and displays, rounding factors can be applied, and specific bar placement control also exists for special circumstances like staggering the laps, working with varying lengths, beginning and ending lap locations, and many others. It's detailer controls such as these that truly set the ASA system apart from all others. Once we have verified that the settings match the requirements for the structure to be detailed, detailing it is as simple as identifying the area and any openings within the area, then letting the computer draw and calculate the bars. In our example, as soon as the bars are calculated, the answer window appears showing us the total weight computed and that there are a total of five sets of bars, one set above the opening, one each to the left and right, another just below, and the fifth set in the lower, narrower area. All settings from the settings box were accounted for to compute the exact lengths and bends required in the structure. The final step in detailing the bars shown is to place the callouts on the drawing as I am doing now. Notice that as I place each set, the answer window remains open until the final set is placed as a way to verify that no bars are overlooked during the detailing process. Detailing the bars in the other direction would simply be a matter of reopening the settings box, changing the direction from horizontal to vertical, and repeating the process. While linear area and all of the other tools within the system certainly assist the detailer throughout the work process, nothing is often more frustrating than the work required when design changes occur. Because of the graphic nature of CAD and the association of the bars to concrete that the ASA program offers, such changes are now automatic and much less frustrating. In our example, I'm going to move the opening 1 foot 4 inches to the left. Notice that as I do this, the system gives me the opportunity to change any of the other settings, then adjusts all bars. All affected quantities, lengths, and bends have been modified as needed, with the system graphically showing the modifications. The revisions are completed with a simple refresh of the screen. Following the detailing process that would normally call for a variety of tools found in the program, the final drawing is assembled and plotted. ASA also provides tools for such finish work, like placing title blocks, typical sections and elevations, schedules, and even batch plotting functions. When the detailing process is finished and all the drawings have been approved, the last step is to build material takeoffs for fabrication based on field requests. Because all bars were detailed in the ASA system and are present on the drawing, this final step is very fast, automatic, and error-free. Notice that I've not only selected the wall dowels, but also some of my main steel, which the field does not want at this time. Once the fence is placed, I will select the takeoff icon and the dialog box appears, in which I will enter the information about the order. Notice that it automatically knows how much weight is in the area that I've selected, which currently also includes the selected slab steel. If we wanted all items selected so far to be included on the order, we could simply hit the Go button at this time and all bars would be on the order, ready to run it through the ASA production system and print our shop tags. However, because we need to exclude the slab steel, there is just one additional step. We will go to the Rebar List tab, which lists all bars selected up to this point, and we will find our slab steel. As you can see, there are currently 13 pieces set to be a part of this order. We now have the option to click on the quantity and change it to however many are needed at this time, which in this case is zero. As soon as we are satisfied that all bars needed in the field have been selected, 
we'll hit the Go button, which updates the database and drawing, and the order is now in the system awaiting fabrication. Once we've completed the takeoff process for our order, notice that our drawing callouts change color automatically with the wall dials becoming red. This is a visual indicator that the bars have been taken off completely and the system will not permit them to be taken off accidentally a second time. These are just a few of the many powerful takeoff features found in the program, all of which are intended to make the building of orders fast, automatic, and error-proof. Now that you've had a look at the process of drawing creation, detailing, and order building in the ASA CAD detailing system, I'd like to thank you for your interest and attention as I've provided this overview for you. We would be happy to talk with you some more about how to implement the system and how you could soon be putting its power to work for you. Again, I truly appreciate your time and I hope to have the chance to welcome you as an ASA CAD detailing system user very soon.